right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up. We're going to be in Luke chapter 1. We're going to look at verse 46 through 55, and we're talking about how to have the merriest Christmas ever. God wants to bless you. He is a father that is an abundant blesser. John 10, 10 says he, that the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but Jesus says, I have come to give you life and life abundantly. And one of the ways we're blessed this Christmas, it's kind of the title to today's devotional, is to sing a song to Jesus. Sing a song to Jesus. You know, Mary, the mother of Jesus, after she gets word from the angel that, man, she's having this baby, man, her, she begins to worship, she begins to sing. And we're going to read today the song of Mary here. It's uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 46. And Mary said, she said, my soul magnifies the Lord. I'm telling you, whether she's singing this with a melody behind it, this is the song of her heart. This is what it's erupting from her heart. She says, my soul magnifies the Lord. She's saying, you know, I saw the Lord before this, but he's magnified now. You know, this Christmas today, are you seeing the Lord magnified, right? Clearer, closer, you know, bigger. You're realizing your problems are small and the God that I serve is huge. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. Rejoice, right? Paul says it in Philippians, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice, praise him. My spirit, are you rejoicing in your spirit? Rejoicing in God, my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. Listen, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Are you humble this Christmas season, right? Are you humble? You know, stay humble or you'll stumble. That's how this works. Stay under, stay humble. Don't seek the higher chair. Don't seek the, the greater spot. Don't seek greatness for yourself. Humble yourself. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. And she got it. It's true. All generations have called Mary blessed. You know, the, the mother of Jesus, it's, it's amazing. Verse 49, for he who is mighty has done great things for me. You know, uh, if you're listening to today's devotion, you go, he hasn't done great things for me, then you're not, you're not paying attention, you know. You're not paying attention. You know, it's, it's possible to grow up under the Lord's care and his protection, his provision, his faithfulness and his love. And it's possible to take that for granted. It's possible. And here, Mary says, he has, he was mighty, has done great things for me. And holy is his name. Understand this, the Lord Jesus is holy. He's whole, he's set apart. You and I are sinful and broken. We see in part, we prophesy in part, but God is holy. There's no spot in him. And his mercy is on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. That's what it is. People that would challenge God, you know, uh, um, all of these ideas. It's, it's an imagination of their hearts that man would look at their creator and challenge him. It's an imagination of their hearts and their pride. Verse 52, he has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Here, Mary sings out this song, and it erupts from her heart as she realizes, my goodness, God is with me. You know, remember what had just happened? She went to visit Elizabeth, and the Bible says that John the Baptist in Elizabeth's womb, when, when John the Baptist in Elizabeth's womb sensed Jesus in Mary's womb, the Bible says John the Baptist leapt within Mary's womb. You know, you want a good scripture about, you know, that abortion is not right? Here's a good one. While Jesus was in Mary's womb and while John the Baptist was in Elizabeth's womb, there was interaction taking place. Life already there, personality, understanding. It's amazing. God brings life. Man does not create life. God creates life. And that's exactly what happens here. And Mary, because of this life, there was joy. You know, if you're listening to today's devotion and you, are, you have said yes to Jesus, you're now born again, there's a new nature inside of you. Listen, listen. There's a song in your heart. Sing it out to the Lord today.
man or woman, don't worry. You know, you don't have to do it in the cashier line at the, at the local store. But, but as you're driving down the street, you know, sing a song to the Lord. Put on some worship music. All the Christmas songs, pretty much, you know, the Christian Christian songs are, are actually worship songs. Maybe sing one to the Lord today. Let him know how thankful you are for how good he's been to you. Father, bless your people. May, there, may you put a new song, Lord, in their heart today as you did with Mary. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.